Good evening. Uh, I'm your host, Steve Stone, and this is something we're going to call Grim Truth News. Um, we're also going to be doing a case update on Will uh, Will Polk and April Jones. Uh, before we get into it, I want to thank uh, Scarlett Campbell for um, trusting me uh, to give you this news. Um, she was going to go ahead and, and make a video, uh, but she's under the weather. And uh, like we do... Uh, in the community of the missing, we pick each other up. So um, Scarlett has, has picked me up when I was down. So it's uh, my turn to re return the favor, and I'm, I'm very humbled to be able to do that. So um, thank you, Scarlett. So let's get into the video. Um, this gentleman right here that we're about to pop up on the screen, this is Keith Coleman Jr. Keith Coleman Jr. is a very terrible uh, individual. Uh, a criminal who has escaped from the Quitman County Jail, which I believe this is his second time. Um, he was being held on, I believe it was aggravated assault or aggravated battery charges, and uh, he escaped from the Quitman County Jail. Um, he again, he is he's extremely dangerous. They um, have labeled him armed and dangerous. You were not to approach him. If you see him, you are to contact uh, the police, dial 911, or call Quitman County Sheriff's Office 662-326-3131. Now, I had the opportunity to speak with uh, the Chief Deputy, um, Chief Deputy Peter Clinton, uh, on the telephone. Unfortunately, the recording um, failed. Um, but I will get into uh, some of the things that, that we discussed. Um, one of the things that we discussed was how did this happen? Um, and here's the thing. Um, Quitman County has this uh, policy, I guess, um, that their prisoners are allowed rec time or um, exercise time. And they are escorted by deputies. However, they are not cuffed. They are not restrained in any way. And apparently that is when um, Mr. Coleman decided to take it upon himself to um, extricate himself from the custody of the, uh, the deputies there and escape. Now, I talked to Chief Deputy Price uh, on this. And, and as a journalist... I had to ask the, the, the question, which was, why isn't he in restraints? And basically, it was just something that they didn't do. It was a, they believe that it, you know, the, the trust in the, the deputies and in the inmate not to escape. But unfortunately, uh, Mr. Coleman Jr. here does not. Uh, have any honor or trust and, and you can't be trusted uh, which is why he is a criminal um, I asked um, Chief Deputy uh, Clinton if this is something that they're going to rectify and he assured me that um, effective immediately um, any prisoner inmate that is going to be uh, taking their exercise or walking will in fact be handcuffed and shackled this is this is something that concerns me now um when i i noticed um during the uh perp walk for um dale gan um when he was walking away and i don't have the footage um to show you at present but i did notice that um he um he was not uh cuffed when he was leaving the courthouse during his arraignment, um, he, he did have leg shackles on, but he wasn't cuffed. And I, it struck me odd, having been around in, in law enforcement and, and, and a prisoner, especially someone who's been indicted on two counts of first-degree murder, capital murder, uh, you're going to want to handcuff them. Um, so when, with regards to uh, Keith Coleman, um, he didn't, he wasn't cuffed. He wasn't shackled. He was, uh, basically, a uh, free range, uh, prisoner who was able to escape. And now he's on the run. Um, 
Chief Deputy uh, Clinton did advise that he believes that he is in the Mississippi, uh, still in the Mississippi, either in Lafayette um, or Quitman County in a third county locally there, and he's bouncing around. Here's the thing. You're going to ask, you, Steve, why are we talking about Keith Coleman? What has he got to do with the missing? What does he have to do with Will and April? Well, early on in our uh, research, his name kept coming up. Now, it, not necessarily necessarily involvement or not, we're not sure, but his name kept coming up. Because we heard that he was locked up, um, I assumed that he was being locked up for uh, other than what he was locked up for. I assumed that I thought it was in connection with, with Will and April's case. Now, again, um, the chief deputy there with Quitman County could not confirm uh, and he couldn't discuss whether um, Mr. Coleman Jr. here is going to be charged with any crimes related to Will and April's case. But because we know he is a, uh, a very bad individual who needs to be locked up, I decided to, again, take it upon myself to make sure that we help the Quitman County Sheriff's Office lock this gentleman up. Um, he has been bouncing around from place to place. Um, he's asked everybody for help, and people have been, you know, shuffling him from county to county. Um, I just want to say one thing. <clears throat> if you're helping this individual, I, I assure you, um, you, you are going to go to jail. Uh, I know this because there have already been three arrests uh, related uh, to uh, individuals who have helped um, Keith Coleman Jr. Um, and, and harboring him. Uh, Chelsea Golden, who is a, a girlfriend, Sierra Wheeler, a girlfriend, and Keith Coleman Sr. Um, also, that's uh, Keith Coleman Jr.'s father, obviously. He um, is also, all three of these have been uh, incarcerated for aiding and abetting uh, a wanted fugitive. Um, so let me just reiterate that if you aid this criminal, you are going to go to jail. If you have children, your children are going to be taken from you. Um, so it would behoove you to um, not help this individual and uh, contact 911 Call local law enforcement. Call the Equipment County Sheriff's Office, 662-326-3131 if you need to. Remain anonymous. But he needs to go away. He needs to go behind bars. Um, you do not want to end up like these three here. Again, you will go to jail, and um, you you will uh, you will lose everything uh, over over this man. I, I don't think it's, it's worth your, your future, and obviously he's... He's not going to do your time for you. He's going to be doing his own time when he's caught. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, <clears throat> again, if you see uh, Keith Coleman Jr., do not approach him. Um, he is considered armed and dangerous. Um, contact Equipment County Sheriff's Office. Dial 911. Don't be around. Uh, let's get him in custody, and let's let's right the wrong um and again, when I spoke to uh, Chief Deputy Clinton, he assured me that the, the policies are going to be changed with regarding uh, prisoners who um, uh, who are getting exercise. I mean, this is to me, this is common sense. And again, he was uh, the chief deputy was very, very uh, forthcoming and he was. And again, it's unfortunate I can't play the the interview because it, it just it, it, it was low volume and it, it's it's a terrible recording. But he was very candid with me, so I I, I told him that of course I'm going to report uh, what we discussed the the fact that you know Keith Coleman Jr. was allowed to roam freely without any restraints, and now he is a, a fugitive on the loose and. He needs to be locked up. So law enforcement, you know, this this as this is a black eye and a blemish on on how they did things. And hopefully um, they're going to be rectified and we're going to catch this guy and lock him up. 
and that's what needs to happen. So again, if you have any information on the whereabouts of Keith Coleman Jr., uh, also known as K2, please contact the Equipment County Sheriff's Office, 662-326-3131. Again, that was 662-326-3131. I did take advantage of having uh, Chief Deputy Clinton on the phone when we spoke, and I asked him about future arrests uh, regarding Will Polk and April Jones. Um, we, we had heard through the grapevine that several more arrests were in the pipeline. Uh, we did hear, uh, some scuttlebutt that warrants were obtained. Um, however, that didn't happen. So I, I asked him point blank, um, is Keith Coleman Jr. The reason why arrests have ceased? Um, he advised me that that was not the case that, um, they just, uh, they're focusing on certain aspects of the investigation and they will act on those warrants when, um, when all the facts have been gathered. But again, I, I, and I, I did ask him, uh, point blank if, uh, Keith Coleman Jr., uh, AKA K2, if he was going to be charged, um, in the, uh, the murder of Will Polk and April Jones, and he declined to comment. He would not comment on that because it was open investigation. However, I, I asked, um, I did my job as a journalist, I had to ask him, I figured he wasn't going to answer the question, and obviously he can't, um, and I understand that. He's a law enforcement professional, I get it, but I had to ask. Um, Will Polk and April Jones, they, uh, they lost their lives um, for... We don't know what. Uh, we know that um, the these two, Haley, Haley Lee Pierce and Dale Gann, um, are the main uh, perpetrators in the homicides. There is a preliminary hearing on Thursday uh, where these two uh, are going to have a, another day in court. Um, and we, we hope that um, we'll get that information to you when it's available and update you guys on on that hearing um but as far as will and april are are concerned th this case is not over arrests are are coming down the pipe and we we hope that um once they're done tracking um mr coleman jr that we'll be able to continue with the um I, I think it is my opinion um and i'm offering an opinion here is my opinion after speaking with um the chief deputy there uh peter clinton again i appreciate him speaking with me um he he was very candid again and i, I appreciate it. I, I believe that their priority right now is apprehending keith coleman jr um that again that's my opinion um Obviously, he's a, a dangerous criminal. Um, he does not care uh, particularly about going back to jail because he has escaped twice. So uh, that being said, I do believe that once um, this gentleman is apprehended that um, the, uh, the the investigation and in, in Will and April's uh, case will continue again. I'm just uh, I, I doing something I don't normally like to do, and that's speculate. It's just the feeling that I got with talking with um, uh, Chief Deputy uh, Peter Clinton. And again, I, I do want to thank him for speaking with me uh, about all that. So that's basically uh, the update that we have. And again, uh, Haley Lee Pierce and, and Dale Gann, uh, they're going to be uh, in court on Thursday for their preliminary hearings. And um, once we get uh, that information and we can f we find out what's going on in the courtroom, I will definitely bring it to you guys and, and update you. Um, I want to thank, uh, again, Scarlett for allowing me to um, discuss this with you guys. I, she wanted to make a video about it, uh, which unfortunately she's under the weather. There, there was some information about um, places to look for Will and April. I did not get the opportunity, uh, to get that question answered. Um, 
and I'm pretty sure that I, it wasn't going to be answered um, because it's a critical part of the investigation and, and they're not going to discuss it with, with me as a member of the press. And obviously I respect that because of the integrity of the investigation. Again, I will say that arresting uh, Mr. Coleman Jr. Would, is paramount um, and then things are going to go on from there, I, I would assume. Again, that's my opinion. Um, so that's the update for today um, regarding Will and April. Uh, we will have more information Thursday as we uh, get word of the preliminary hearing um, with Haley Lee, Haley Lee Pierce um, and uh, Dale Gann. That'll be on Thursday, and we'll, we'll get that information to you as soon as we get it. And um, any more updates, you're going to be the first um, first to hear about it. Uh, and the way to do that, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, Grim Tree Podcast YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so you never miss uh, uh, any videos, news, episodes of the Weekly Remind Show. Um, and, and leave us a comment. Leave us a like, press that like button. Um, Eighty percent of the people who are watching our videos now are not subscribed. They're not subscribers, and hitting that like button and subscribing, it gets the information directly to you. Not just about Will uh, Will Polk and April Jones case, but about everything we do uh, at Grim Media, the Grim Truth Podcast, the Weekly Remind, and um, we'd appreciate that. We were trying to get our numbers up. We're trying to get at least. Uh, 1,000 subscribers by the end of June, and we need your help to do it. Uh, so that's the uh, going to wrap this video up. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave them below, and we will definitely um, we will respond to any and all comments um, and any information we have. We will give it to you as long as it does not impede with the investigation. So um, thanks again for uh, watching the video. Uh, God bless, stay safe, and remember, uh, Mr. Coleman, your time's running out, buddy. TikTok, if you're watching this, your best bet's to turn yourself in because you're not going to have very many people uh, that are going to continue helping you because as they start getting arrested, you're really not going to have any place to run. So you might as well, uh, as uh, my father says, take your medicine, turn yourself in, and uh, let's, 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 uh, be a man and stand up for what you did. Uh, I'll take care of it for tonight. God bless, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.